It's morning at Gromont Station on the North Yorkshire Moors Railway. Volunteer driver Beth is preparing for her final shift of the summer season before she goes back to her day job. I'm a teacher. So um, the end of goals timetable is time for me to go back to work. <laughs> the world of steam used to be the preserve of men. Not anymore. Beth is blazing a trail as the railway's first female driver. Sometimes it can be a shock from the passengers because they're expected to see a bloke and uh, they see me, which sort of throws them off balance a little bit. Yeah, it just gets into the blood, and once it's in the blood, it won't come out, and you just have to uh, go with it. Being old-fashioned mechanical machines, steam engines need to be oiled twice a day. I'm going underneath. Oh, everybody's underneath. It's going to be a social event under each engine. Love this bit. The romance of steam, eh? <laughs> I have to confess, my dad used to take me to a lot of steam fairs and things, and uh, I was always deeply suspicious of them. I think it was all the hissing and the, and the heat. Kids get quite scared, but I think I was one of those scared kids, but here I am now. Who knew? <laughs> right. So, that's us done. Beth might still be the only female driver. But women can now be found in every area of the railway. On Gromont platform, the well-oiled mother-daughter team of catering manager Jill... Right, hi, guys. This is our last Pullman tea for this year. Full train, 111 on. And head chef Sammy... Edwin, that's cheating! ..are preparing for the last afternoon tea service of the season. And we've also got a couple that have just got married at Pickering this morning. The Pullman service is popular with wedding couples, but romance is a bit of a touchy subject with Sammy. Everyone always asks me, are you engaged? No. Afternoon tea services allow passengers the chance to indulge themselves in elegant 1940s dining coaches. This year, the Pullmans have been really, really busy. Last year, we were running on 70 80%. This year, it's been, like, nearly 100% each service. Definitely, it's been a long summer. <laughs> if you'd like to help yourself to a glass of Prosecco or orange juice from Jim, and then Danielle will show you to your seats. The last of the passengers arrive... Have you got your tickets? ..while on the engine footplate, Beth gets the loco ready for off. Right, so here we go again. Yeah, would you like that with milk, sir? Yes, please. No Congratulations on your wedding. fire which powers it up and then you've got the steam it's just all these elements coming together and it's a challenge to keep them under control and, and to do what you want it to do at the time that you want it to do it's big and scary and i think that's why i like hello. it so much hello oh, cheers, Hang on. On board, the passengers are getting a real taste of how some people travelled in the past. I won't give you that one, because I've just dropped that one on the table. <laughs> yeah, on the plate. Yeah, I don't mind having that one that's dropped on the table. <laughs> are you sure? Yeah, it's absolutely sure. Oh, bless me, it's his wedding anniversary as well, 60 years. <laughs> We've had a fabulous day. This is probably what the, uh, the push people could afford in, back in the steam days. <laughs> and now uh, the likes of us can, uh, can manage to come on it. But it's been fabulous. To have enough time to get through the three afternoon tea courses, the Pullman has to run to a very tight schedule. 
It says in the brochure, sit back and relax. And I think that's what they've done. And they've forgotten to eat. Sam, it might be that you have to stop creaming and we'll have to um, do them on the return journey, the three carriages that haven't finished. Right. OK. We have to have certain things done by a certain time. So we're at Levisham now and really, the scones should be going out, if not out, and they're not. And on top of that, Sammy's now got picky customers. Well, someone's wanting it without jam and cream now, so you always get one. Why would you know what, not want jam and cream on your son? But by journey's end, it's all smiles again. And that's just done. Steady day, really. That means we're in the tunnel. So I'm just going to head towards my door now to say bye-bye to everyone and thank you. Thank you, bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.